so I'm here with Christian Padilla. He's a member of the Spokane Community College baseball team. And, and Christian, right off the bat, you know, here we're at the NWAC tournament. You guys are getting ready to play. Uh, Spokane was here last year. What things are you hoping to experience? What things are you hoping to accomplish uh, here at the tournament this year? Uh, I think obviously go a little farther than we went last year. Um, we got, I think, third. We tied for third. And I think we played pretty well, but uh, I think the experience is going to help this year, definitely, with all the older guys coming back. So we only have, like, one uh, freshman, I think, playing infield. So the experience is, is going to be good. Yeah, it is always nice to have guys who have been there or at least have that, you know, that overall experience. And you know, we're talking about experience a little bit. You know, you're playing at the college level, um, which is quite different from the high school level, even summer travel ball. What things have you had to learn and grow, f you know, coming out of high school and going into college? Uh... I think that uh, the competitiveness every day. High school is more laid back, so you just kind of showed up and did your thing. And college is a little more demanding, I guess, but it's a good demanding. Yeah, it's easy if you're if you love it. It's easy. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of guys in high school they, they have talent, so they don't try hard. Yeah. But college, everyone's got talent, so it's yeah. a little bit different. Um, you know, and then also growing up, a lot of players will uh, look at professional athletes and say, you know, I really love the way they play or their style, or, or they'll just watch a team as their favorite team. Mm -hmm. Is there a player that you kind of look at and say, you know, I want to mimic their style or their attitude, or is it just a team that you followed? Um, I wouldn't say a player exactly. I think I look at a lot of players and see what the good guys do right and try to work that into anything I can do. Uh, my dad was a Texas Rangers fan because he think he went to college there. And uh, so he kind of passed that on to me. So like Adrian Beltre, I always like to watch him. <laughs> He's pretty fun to watch. And yeah, mostly all those guys. Awesome, yeah. Texas has been a fun team to watch for a yeah. few years. And then, you know, growing up, you know, along with just watching professional athletes, it also takes people who are behind you and motivating you and, and really helping you to, to, to be the best. Who in your life would you say has been that motivator and that inspiration to keep you going, you know, every day? Uh, definitely my dad. I think uh, he's had a huge influence on my baseball career and everything I do. So he's taught me a lot, and he's definitely been that guy to to get me motivated when I need it. And then, you know, for you, you know, you're, you're finishing up your time at Spokane, but you're going to be moving on to, to play at Boise State. Um, in fact, you mentioned to me that's kind of your hometown. So what's it like for you to um, have the opportunity to go play, you know, at a D1 school, you know, in the place where you're from? That's cool. Uh, program's brand new, so, I mean, it was, it was kind of a blessing to be able to go back home because I know the travel on my family is a lot, so... They're gonna they're gonna be really happy to be 15 minutes from the field instead of six hours. So. Yeah, it's always nice for family when they can just you know pop on over to the game and watch it instead of having to plan vacations all the time. It seems like. Exactly. And you know you, you come into this level and, and baseball players are you know they have routines they like to follow. But you know is there any routines you follow and even beyond that is there any superstitions that you have as a player? Uh, yeah, I think a little bit. Uh, I don't really want to tell you them because then you know. <laughs> It might not work, but I try not to try not to get in too superstitious because mm -hmm. I think I was a little that way last year, trying to do everything the same, and took a little too far and just got in my head. I think so. No superstitions, won't get in my head. Hopefully, baseball will be easier. So. Yeah, once you get get out of your head, a lot of times baseball becomes a lot smoother for you to do the game. And last question I have for you, you know, you're always at games, there's always kids out watching. Mm. What advice would you have for those kids that want to play, you know, not just high school, but college ball and even beyond that? Uh, have fun. Always find a positive in it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard a lot. So just always staying positive, I think, is a big thing because once you get – once you get your hopes up and you feel beat, then it's not fun anymore, and what's the point? So just have fun. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.